All right, welcome back, everybody. I am the Crafty Northerner. Thank you for coming back. Today we are doing part two of my review from fancells.com. And if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me. If you are a new subscriber or a new person watching my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, it really helps out, and I appreciate it, and I love all you guys. I am still trying to grow my channel. So, anything helps. With that being said, we'll get right into it. The first thing is going to be a diamond painting. This was $4.81. And it is, if I can get you guys to see this little picture, it is a lion. So it is the zodiac sign for Leo. My mom was a Leo and she passed away many, many years ago. So I thought I would do this in sort of remembrance of her. Her birthday will be coming up soon in July. So I might start this in July for her birthday month. A little bit flatter now. Alright, this is a 30 by 30. Turn it around. Uh, you got your product number. Up there. And you got your key on the side. You also got your key on the other side on the bottom. This has 24 colors. And this is square diamonds. Now, I have not worked with square diamonds before. I have seen other people do square diamonds, and I like the look of it. And I know that it covers, it will cover your whole canvas instead of the round ones that leave little gaps. So I also like that that you're getting the color and definition through the whole entire thing. Um, you know, corner to corner. That's one thing I like about the square diamonds. Um, i never worked with them before, so I don't know how tedious it's going to be. I can't imagine it'll be too much more different than the round ones. It's just going to take a little bit more use to getting used to placing them and making sure they're straight. So here are the diamonds. Now, this is the second kit I've got from Fan Cells that they came packaged in these Ziploc bags, which I love. Now these are not, no, they are labeled. It does have a label sticker on there. It's not like the other ones I got that, you know, had it printed on the bag. Which, I don't mind. As long as the sticker doesn't come off or it doesn't rub off, I don't mind it too much. But I do like that they're in these resealable bags instead of those plastic, you know, bags that you get in all the other kits. So we're just going to quickly go through some of the colors here. Gray color, blue, purplish color, bright light green, a darkerish green from not light green, grayish color, almost like a turquoise blue. That's like an off-white orange, orangish yellow.
And then, of course, you got your black, which is probably what this is. Yeah, 310. I love these reds. What is this, like a 333? Three, three, three? No, 321. Your 333 three, three is like that Christmas red. It's almost like this red. It's just a little bit brighter. That's like your tangerine orangish color. Another brighter orange. It looks like it's coming up yellow when I look it up there, but a light blue. Another light orangish color. Uh, I don't know what I call that. Dark grayish color. A very off orangish color. That's a brown. Your purple. Brownish orange. That's definitely just a almost like a basic brown. And of course it comes with your basic boat, your wax, and your single placer. So yeah, I like this one. I think maybe I will start this later this year for my mom's birthday. In remembrance of that. It'll be almost, oh, I don't even know now, 10, 10 years has it been? Like 15, 15 years maybe? I don't remember exactly. But yeah. All right, moving on. We got two two cross stitch kits. The first one is it is called the Classic Building, but I love the little bridge and the steeple and the little buildings. This is by Joy Sunday. So this is going to be a 14 count. It is a 68 by 48. And let's take a look at it. Of course, like all Joy Sundays, it comes with the this bag with the instructions on the back of it. Which is always nice. These bags are nice too to be able to reuse. Let's see if I can get... Nope. Yeah, a little difficult getting these out of these bags though. Okay. Of course you got your cover sheet with your picture. And then of course you got your pattern. Again, this pattern will not match your canvas. This is a stamped kit. So your pattern will be stamped on your canvas, but it will not match this paper pattern. And of course, like all Joy Sundays, it comes on that nice, thick, glossy, glossy paper. Very easy to read. Which is always nice. And of course, comes with your sheet, your pages listed in order of where they are, with your picture. Let's take a look at the colors and the floss. Oh, this has how many colors does this have? So this has 24 colors. It does have some back stitching. 
I'm not sure how much back stitching until I look at the pattern. I'm not entirely sure how much back stitching it has, but me and back stitching don't agree very much. So we'll see on that. Comes with two needles. And oh see I like see all these bright colors. I love that blue. Love this blue color. You got your peaches pink pink color there. You got like a mahogany red. And you got some greenish brownish colors. That's like a light brown to a light pink. You got a purple, a light purple. Oh yeah, look at these blue colors. I love all these blue colors. So you got a purple, a light blue, a bunch of blues. You know, a light blue, a lighter blue, another blue. I love all these blue colors. Uh, okay, so these, one, two, three, four. All right, these four on the end are extras. So you got your typical white, which is three, eight, six, five, probably. Take a look. No, that would be your 5200. So this is your 5200. Why was I thinking 3865? I think that's a totally... No, that is a white, whitish color, isn't it? And then these are all extras. Extra of your number 8, 14, 21, and 24. But I love these blue colors. It's got a bunch of purples. These, it's a different color purples. And then you got this purple over here. And then you got a red. And then of course your peaches pink color. It's like a gold gold brownish color this is almost like yeah this is like a light light pink and you got like a blue another blue another light blue yeah and I like these cards too because it lists it gives you the number of the of the thing but it also gives you that color will somewhat correspond to the color that it's supposed to be but it also gives you the DMC the DMC number and then this other number on top I'm not sure what that is 15 plus 1 uh, this has got to be how many how many strands you have on here or how many you know how many lengths of whatever you have yeah it's definitely that red number is how many lengths of whatever uh how many lengths they put on here and these are doubled like that because you have the extras down here is why that these red ones have double numbers but I like that it gives you a color, the number, and your DMC number. I do really like these floss cards. All right, we'll take a look at the canvas. Again, this is a 14 count. Oh, okay. So this, I think this this will go be go very fairly quick. Okay. So you got, uh, is that the product number? Okay, so you got this, um, which is, I'm not sure what that is. The 3332269 is your product number. That corresponds to something. I'm not entirely sure what that is. But if you need to email them about anything about extra floss, if you run out or anything like that, I would include both numbers. 
because either either way, if you include both numbers, they'll know they'll they'll know what you need from whatever you know whatever number they think you need. It's got the name of it, classic built class. They call it classical built building. And there is a lot of color blocking on here, as you can see, which can make this go fairly quick. I get bored sometimes doing a lot of the same color, especially if it's all in one spot. I don't mind moving around different areas with the same color. But even down here you got areas of... It's not really, really confetti heavy. You definitely have spots of the same color where you could just run down, you know, run down this way. And keep going we don't have to keep starting and stopping the colors are close enough together where you don't have to re-thread and restart your threads but it's very clear there's nothing bleeding into any other squares it's very clear to read Yeah, I like this. I love this one. I think a lot of it was the bridge. The bridge got me. The bridge with a tower is what kind of drew me in. That's, yeah, but again, um, the symbols and the pattern on this will not match your paper pattern. It will, it will not match this. You wouldn't need it per se. Um, it's always good to have a paper pattern to look back on. A lot of times you don't really need it, especially with this one that seems... It seems very well printed on the fabric. Some fabrics are hard to tell, especially if you have the same... When they put uh, two different symbols with the same color next to each other. Joy Sunday's uh, kits don't do that a lot, but other kits may. And I've had kits like that where you have to look back at the pattern because you can't tell which one's which because the symbols and the color are the same color and they're similar, similar symbols. Yeah, and it's got a very nice big key on the bottom that you can reference to. And it's got that. It's a 33, 330 stitches by 220 stitches. So it's an okay size one. I mean, it's not overly big, but it's not small either. So with that being said, oh, <clears throat> I stand corrected. I still got one more. So we're going to fold this, uh, fold this up somehow. So again, so I don't lose stuff. Because I will lose stuff knowing me. We have one more. And these are wolves, and I really, really, really love this one. Sometimes I get really sick of working with the same dark colors all the time, but I really do like this one. And this is going to be a lot of grays and blacks, and I, I realize that, but I really like this picture. So you got your product number down here. This is a 14 count. It is a 62 by 54. Of course, again, with your bag, you got the, you know, your instructions about how to clean it, um, how to separate your threads, 
how to prepare your fabric, how to read the pattern on your fabric if it's printed, how to iron and finish, all that stuff. If you're a new beginner, that's a great tool. I'm glad they always in, uh, include that. So again, here's the picture. I really do love this picture. It's going to take me a while to do it because I know I'm going to get bored with working with all those dark colors. But... Does this one not come with one of those pages? Okay, I guess it doesn't. Oh, it's not a separate page. The other ones were separate pages. But again, it breaks it down with pages. And then, of course, your picture. And in the back here, it's got a very nice big key. This has 18 colors. It does not have any back stitching. Thank God. Because again, me and back stitching, we hate each other, but sometimes like each other because I like the looks of back, what back stitching does, but I don't like doing it. Again, your pattern. It's a very nice big pattern. Very clear to see. This is a printed kit. So again, your canvas is not going to match your paper pattern with this kit. And comes with two needles. That's extra extra thread. But again, like I said, it's going to be all, this is just all shades of gray. You got your 310 here. Or what I assume is 310. Yeah, that's your 310. It does have a couple different purples mixed in here. And what is 17? That's a 3799. That's like a dark. A very darkish gray color. This one there. And then you got your off, you know, your off white, and then you got your white. This is your 3865. I knew 3865 was a white color. That's your 3865. And this is 3756. This is like a very, very, very light gray, grayish white color. I'm not sure where these purples go in. What's that, 13 and 15? We'll look at the canvas. Oh, and I meant to say, all these canvases are surged all the way around. Which is always nice. Always like when they're surged. Does have your big key on the side of your canvas. There. With your stitch count, stitches per stitches. So it's 300 stitches by 251 stitches. And of course, on the top, you got your product numbers, the name of what it is, sorry, name of what it is. Again, very, very, very clear symbols. Nothing's running into anything else. Nothing's bleeding over.
nice rivers and splotches of color. I mean, even down here, I mean, it looks, your cut, it looks scattered, but a lot of these are the same symbols. So you can just run through and down. Again, you don't have to, you know, start and stop your thread. You don't have to worry about carrying, you're going to carry a little bit of thread. Um, I would suggest doing one area. Like if you're going to do it that way, do this area and down and depending on where you are, stop, end your thread and then come up to maybe up here where you see the color again and work your way down. You typically don't run out of thread normally. Um, if you carry a lot of thread a lot of times, you know, throughout your whole entire project, you run the risk of maybe running out, which can be a pain. You can email the company and tell them, hey, I ran out of such and such color. You know, here's my product, you know, my product number, my product code. They're usually more than happy to send, you know, more thread, but then you got, then you got to wait for them to send it out and who knows how long that'll take. And a lot of times you just want to finish a project and, you know, finish what you want to finish. You don't want to have to wait for them to send you more stuff. So I would say overall be a little conservative. I mean, don't be over... Don't be overly conservative, but definitely be a little conservative when it comes to using your threads. I've had some kits that, um, I've had plenty of thread left over. And that's without being that conservative with my threads. And I've had other ones where I've been really conservative with my threads. And I ran out or just barely had enough by, like, one or two stitches I was stretching it out it all depends where you get it from what company um, that kind of stuff but generally don't have any problem running out of thread as long as you are okay with your threads and you're not overly exaggeratingly using it more than you should you should be okay with both kits all right, so the wolf, the wolf cross stitch kit was thirteen dollars and eighty one cents, so not too bad. And that will do it for this video today. And I appreciate you sticking around. I know this is a little bit of a longer video. I didn't really want to have it go this far, but if you're still here, I appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, hit the notification bell so you know when you get all my videos when they come out. And I appreciate everybody coming here. Everybody watching. Everybody sticking around. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.